Are the cheapest AirPod knockoffs you can get on Amazon any good? Let's find out. So I love AirPods. AirPods are one of the inventions of the last few years that I use all the time. I use AirPods like four or five hours a day. I use them so much that I have two sets. So what I wanted to do this week on reviewing the cheapest is find the cheapest set of knockoff AirPods we could get. So today we've got the i7s, TWS, I don't know, they were, they were a pair of AirPods on Amazon that I found for, ding, number of dollars. So today, let's compare the physical aspects, we'll compare how quick they are to pair, we'll compare, you know, the subjective audio quality, but, you know, let's have some fun doing it. Let's crack it open, which is gonna be, whoa, well that's pretty easy. Okay, that doesn't look anything like an AirPods case, but it feels pretty good. It feels pretty darn good, so if you see normal AirPods, is this my new one? So I've got two pairs, my wife got me a new pair for Christmas. And those are the cleaner pairs. So we'll use those pair today because if, because if you've ever used AirPods, they get gross real quick. So definitely looks a little, looks a little different. Doesn't have that nice, one of the things that you just, mm, I love that clicking sound. So it doesn't have a magnet. It does have like a little clasp here. We do have some power. So we'll be able to check that out here in a second. Uh, it feels pretty cheap. Did we even get a charging cable? Oh, we did. We got a... USB charging cable. Now, one of the benefits is it does kind of stand up on its own, whereas the AirPods don't. I'm just, I'm just saying. I guess you do kind of gotta look at it from all angles. So it's got the power button, probably the pairing button there in the back. Micro USB XBF.01. That's probably important for something. Let's check out the. So are they are they held in there with a? Ugh. Okay. Um. Can you, can you guys hear that? Like that. That does not give me confidence. I mean, when you pop out an AirPod, it's just like, oh, look, there it is. And then it like, it snaps back in very satisfyingly. This one, it doesn't, can, look, this one does not. This one like, it's like there's definitely some resistance in putting it in there and taking it out, which I'm assuming is the charging element. That does not get, ooh, I might've just broken it right there. That does not give me very, uh, a lot of confidence in their longevity. Um, those are the fake pods. We'll call them the fake pods themselves. Uh, they do feel pretty good. They've got some buttons on them. Maybe you pair through the buttons. We'll figure that out in a second. This is literally the first time I've ever used these. I've never actually used a fake, um, pair of AirPods before because I just, you know, I guess I'm an Apple snob. <laughs> but you can, uh, you can see here, here are the official AirPods. Here are these knockoff ones. They are way bigger. It wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't drop something. They are way bigger, but let's get to the important test. They, you know, they're they're actually pretty comfortable. AirPods are pretty hit or miss. It, it comes really down to the shape of your ears and whether they'll work for you or not, but these are a little bigger. I feel like they fit a little snugger. So one of my problems with the AirPods is, I mean, they fit fine, but like I use them to go running a lot. And if I get like any kind of sweat, it, it, they start moving around a lot. That feels a whole lot more secure than uh than one of the airpods so i actually i do kind of like that they're a little bigger i mean it doesn't have to be super small for it to work so the case against the case you can see what we got this one i mean obviously the airpods are going to feel better this again is held on with a plastic clasp it doesn't have a metal little hinge here on the back it, it does feel can you hear that it feels cheap but again i only spent what like 30 40 bucks on it so i guess i could be um i guess i could forgive it that the big thing that i just can't really get over so far is the uh, plugging it in like that just feels terrible and uh, I've assumed I just assume that that's gonna break really quick so okay so these instructions are kind of confusing so long press the multi-function buttons on both sides at the same time until the LED flashing in red and blue alternatively then double click either side to enter pairing mode okay so here's where let's pair them we just so happen to have an iPhone right here coincidence that I know right Bluetooth Lots of Gary stuff. Gary, this Gary guy, he seems to be like, it's all about him, right? Okay, so hit the buttons until the lights flash blue and red alternately. Okay, then press 1. So TWI7. TWSI7. So you got to connect them separately. Okay, do we have them? Do we got some sound? Let's watch one of my favorite YouTubers by a guy by the name of The Everyday Dad. Let's see what he's got going on today. Oh wait, he's got a video about the Fujifilm X-T30 versus the A6400. Those are some good looking cameras. Do we have audio? Okay, yeah, we've got audio. We've got stereo audio going. 
It's kind of weird. It doesn't have like the, I don't know, low end. It, it, it sounds very tinny. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look, he looks like he's having so much fun. Uh, he looks like he's having so much fun checking out those cameras. What a great guy. You should probably go check out that video. Uh, but either way, um, they actually, they sound okay. They don't sound great. They don't sound as good as the AirPods, but they seem to work perfectly well. And they actually, like I was saying, they feel pretty good. And you saw they paired really quickly. Um, which is, I mean, when it comes down to a pair of wireless headphones, you really only need to worry about can it pair? Does the audio work? How long does the battery last? And yeah, I don't, I'm really, I'm really kind of impressed by that. I really didn't think they would pair that well. And I know this is going to sound counterintuitive. The whole point of the AirPods is you just put them in and you go. Uh, but that's not always the fastest. Sometimes I put them in, they don't connect, or I put them in and I have to manually go in there and connect them anyway. So I don't, this doesn't bother me that I have to go in and pair it with the button. So we paired it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you turn it on, that turns those on. Let's see. So I pop these out, at what point do they connect? There, it's connected. All you had to do is press those and it's ready to go. That is okay, I'm okay. The audio is not the best. It definitely doesn't stack up to how good the AirPods sound. I mean, I'm not going to say that they do, but they sound pretty good. They pair really easily. Um, so I, I'm, I'm impressed. I gotta be honest. I've been waiting around to make this video all week and I was like, well, I'm probably not going to like these. They're not going to be good at all. Um, but I'm impressed. The one thing that I, the one reason that I would not recommend these, uh, is because of the case. Like the case is the weakest part in this whole deal because there's no like solid metal connecting it. Um, it's all plastic. It's very cheap plastic. It already kind of has some give to the body itself. And when you plug in these fake pods, uh, there's even some more give and they don't seat very well. So I imagine the durability is not going to be very long. But before they get too comfortable, we're going to take these outside, see if they survive the crucible. See you there. <laughs> Welcome to the Crucible. There's only one way to find out if the cheapest AirPods you can get on Amazon are actually not gonna fall apart the very first time you drop them. That's what we're gonna do today, right now. One. So we're gonna drop them four times, see if they still turn on, see if they still connect, and if they're any good, they will have survived the Crucible. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> that was one. Number two. Okay, that time they definitely fell out. Whoop, 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 drop them. So that time they fell out of their thing. So that time they fell out of the case, which I mean, makes sense. Cause it's, like I said earlier, the case is pretty cheap. Still survives, still uh, the AirPods inside, the fake pods inside still feel pretty good. Number three. This case is built a lot better than I thought it was. I imagined that this was gonna be a crucible for the ages where it just like shattered everywhere. So number four. It's still doing pretty well. It's still doing pretty well. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm impressed. Okay, we're gonna do, we don't normally do five. We're gonna do five real quick. We're gonna toss it up and see if maybe a little bit extra height will give us the desired effect of seeing it shatter right here in my backyard. Am I crazy? <laughs> no. I don't even know if the, I don't even know if the slow motion camera caught that, but okay, we've dropped it five times. I mean, there's a little bit of cosmetic damage like here on the edge. There's a little bit here on top. Uh, there's a little bit of damage, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. I mean, especially since it's a case, it's gonna protect the fake pods inside. Let's turn them on. And there you go. They're lighting up, they're connecting. They are connected to my phone. They, they just automatically paired, how cool is that? So yeah, they have survived the crucible. Are they any good? I'll leave that for you to decide. Thanks for watching.